Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a prophecy for one. Uh, one, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name properly. Um, Apologise for that. Uh, if uh, you're tuning in uh, on YouTube and just watching this, this is a general type of prophecy, and uh, you can uh, go to the description tag underneath and uh, find my website and request a prophecy for myself. For, from um, my website for yourself, uh, if you want that possible, um, if uh, you just like uh, watching prophecies, uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this one. So one, uh, I'll just uh, pray and uh, dedicate uh, this to the Lord and then uh, do your prophecy. So dear Father, I pray that uh, you would uh, give uh, me a uh, a prophetic word for this man, uh, a word to bless him, encourage him, and lift his spirits up in Jesus' name. I ask, Amen. As I was uh, making uh, my coffee, I saw like a bullock. Uh, um, I think that's an Australian term. It's just a large uh, bull-like animal. Um, they. Uh, Travel in Africa like wildebeest uh, in packs, and I've seen uh, this bullock uh, going forth, leading like a pack, being like a leader of other ones, uh, and crushing through undergrowth, crushing through uh, like forest like uh, stuff. And um, uh, I, I got the impression that. Uh, that this uh, bullock uh, was uh, very strong, and I got the impression of the image that he he was a leader and uh, pushing things out of the way, and uh, a sense that he was uh, uh, if there's a bull that's uh, uh, in charge of the whole a lot of uh, wildebeest or whatever, uh, uh, I sense that he was in charge, and uh, so. Uh, what I uh, sense uh, from this is that uh, God, uh, in the right time, it may not be now, but in uh, the right timing, he's uh, going to place a uh, uh, mantle on you of authority, of leadership. And uh, I uh, think I uh, did a prophecy uh, for your wife uh, saying that uh, she'd be a prophetic in teaching and uh, a sense that uh, you're going to move in the apostolic, which uh, you could uh, uh, move in the fivefold giftings. Um, sense uh, that uh, you're going to uh, develop like a really uh, intimate uh, relationship uh, with Jesus and uh and the Father and the Holy Spirit, and I sense that you're going to uh, really be a true leader in your house, uh, in anointing and power and mantle, and uh, that uh, your, your wife is going to be, uh, Anastasia is going to be uh, very, uh, I think Anastasia is your wife, uh, I think uh, she's going to be uh, very powerful, but you'll be able to lead from a position of strength. That's what I saw in the initial image. I've just seen strength and I've seen uh, leadership, and I I can see uh, I could see that no obstacle in your path uh, could get in the way that the undergrowth and the uh, forest was uh, coming down as you ploughed your way through uh, that. Uh, I sense that uh, uh, God uh, is going to install you install within you like a sense of justice and a sense of his justness uh a sense of what's right and wrong uh i sense that uh, the lord is going to uh use you uh to bring uh teachings and to bring uh reformation to the church uh, uh like a radical uh change uh to the way that things are done uh, in churches, in specifically the church that you're part of and uh, maybe uh, part of uh, other churches that you may uh, travel and speak. Um, 
I, I sense that uh, the, the Holy Spirit uh, gave me the word Daniel and uh, I sense that uh, you're going to uh, be used like a prophet, like a seer, like a seer prophet uh, uh, amongst other people that may not be saved. Uh, I sense that, uh, that uh, your, your wisdom and your direction and your knowledge and the spirit of the Lord like will be on you like he was on Joseph and uh, it'll be used uh, by business people and used by secular people uh, your wisdom and your knowledge and your insight uh, from God uh, and uh, so I can see you uh, being effective uh bringing God's uh, wisdom and and leadership skills uh, to the marketplace. And uh, I can see you uh, ministering in churches, but I can see you also having a great effect outside of the church. And uh, I can see you uh, being used as, as a revivalist, someone who uh, ministers outside the church and wins souls. Uh, I, I think... Uh, is in Proverbs or something, he that wins souls is wise. Uh, I, I sense that uh, through business, uh, through your business uh, acumen, um, through your business skills, you're going to speak into the lives of uh, people outside of Christ and uh, possibly win some. Uh, they'll certainly be won by your wisdom and your decision-making abilities and your leadership skills. I'm not aware of uh, what uh, job you do and what you're qualified to do, but I sense that... Uh, I, I, I don't sense you'll be a pastor or someone uh, in full-time ministry in the church, but I sense that you always have a good effect on uh, church matters. I could be totally wrong with that. I, you could uh, be called to the church and I could be totally wrong. Don't uh, disregard what I say because of that. I just know no matter what your job is, you're going to have an effect on secular business people and secular uh, people, people outside of the church. Um, you may uh you may be part of men's leadership groups or or uh, rotary or something uh, 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 a gathering of men businessmen uh that uh are outside of the church i'm not sure how things are i god doesn't tell me everything like he it would be easy for him to tell me what your trade is and what you're qualified in and what your job is and what you do for a living. But he leaves things as a mystery just so I can speak what I see and speak what I hear, but not necessarily go down the same track as someone who may prophesy to you when they know what you actually do for a living. I, I sense that uh, God uh, wants uh, friends and uh, he wants uh, to uh, develop uh, you as a friend. Uh, he wants you, first of all, to be a leader in your own household and uh, he wants you to steward and lead your wife. Your wife has uh, got a good future uh, in God and uh, he wants you to steward your leadership and, and rule uh, with uh, great authority and uh, be like an example and uh, uh, a loving, uh, just like Jesus is to us, he's a loving example. I sense that uh, God is going to uh, bestow on you like uh, uh favor and uh, I, I sense that God is going to bestow on you uh, authority uh, where you will have spiritual power and uh, people will pay attention to you and I sense that you're going to uh, speak things and uh, see them uh, come into being. I uh, see that uh, you're going to 
uh, be able to influence people uh, with uh, your spiritual authority and uh, God is going to lead you and favor you. Uh, I think uh, he's going to bless you financially, but going to bless you in uh, wisdom and supernatural ability and supernatural understandings and knowledge and wisdom in things. And uh, you're going to be like a Daniel, like one of the magicians uh, in Nebuchadnezzar's court. Uh, you're going to have secret powers like Joseph had to dream and interpret dreams. And uh, uh, it's going to be something that the business people don't have. They don't have the wisdom of God, and it's going to make you stand out. Uh, with your authority, they're going to listen to you and take your directions and take your insights. I pray that this has encouraged you and blessed you. I hope that uh, you uh, go on and uh, prosper, and I'd love to hear your feedback. God bless.